Hi, I'm Renee Suzanne, a coach to help you find the love of your life. And today I want to talk about why I recommend that you say no to a request for a last minute date. Now I'm just, I'm talking about the process of dating. I'm not talking about like, he's your boyfriend, you're engaged, or you, you've, you already have an established relationship and his friend's can't see him or, or back out or, or what whatever. I'm talking about new guys that you are just meeting and this is a, a very early date, a first, second, third date, or you don't ever want a guy to slip into just hitting you up when he's got nothing else going on. That I don't believe that that is a way to have a good, mutually respectful relationship if you can't even respect each other's times. So why it's a good idea to turn down a, a request for a last minute date early on, especially, please, especially a first date, okay? If he's not excited about you enough to plan a first date, why would you even bother, okay? So here's the thing, a man who does this, you're just, you're literally training him not to plan with you, not to make plans with you. You're training him that you're just gonna be there whenever he feels like it and doesn't have anything else going on or whoever else he's seeing backs out or his buddies can't get together or whatever. When somebody else bails on him, you'll be there. That is not, 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 not how you want to position yourself in the dating world. It's, it just doesn't, position you as a high value woman. It, it positions you as someone who doesn't even value herself. So that that is the first reason. And the second reason is you're just not a priority to someone who does this. You're clearly not a priority to somebody who, who texts you you know, uh, in the morning or that, or Saturday afternoon for a Saturday night date, that's, that's, you're just not a priority. It's obviously just that you're not a priority. There's really not much else to say about that. So, and the final, the final point is why would you ever want to deny yourself the experience of going on a date with a man who was excited about you enough to ask you out and plan the date in advance. That is just such a wonderful feeling to go on a date with, with somebody who cares enough about meeting you, getting to know you, and the process of dating you to actually handle that, to, to make a plan, to look forward to it, to put it on his calendar, to pick a place and plan a date with you. It's a way nicer experience than having somebody roll up a couple hours after he texted you and meeting you at Starbucks or whatever. Why would you ever want to deny yourself the experience of being in the presence of someone who really cared enough about you and connecting with you to create a plan for that. That is the beginning of a wonderful relationship, or it could be. Usually a last minute date is the beginning of a whole lot of nothing or worse than nothing. So that is why I don't recommend saying yes to a last minute date. It's not because it's playing games or you need to pretend that all these other guys want to date you or any kind of ridiculous. It's just having respect for yourself and what you're trying to create and prioritizing your own standards and only dating men that you are a priority to. And can you expect to be a priority to someone you haven't even met? Maybe you're meeting for the first time. No, but hopefully the creation of a relationship is a priority to him, even if you personally are not yet a priority to him. But you don't want to ever position yourself to be somebody who just doesn't care about someone respecting her time who isn't presenting as a high value woman and valuing herself. So that is why I recommend that you politely decline requests for last minute dates. And by last minute, I mean, same day or possibly even the next day, especially on a weekend. It is really not that hard to plan a date a couple of, of days in advance and to have that on your calendar. It is not an 
unreasonable thing to expect to someone to be able to do. I mean, grown up people plan their lives. They know what they're doing on the weekends. They know what they're, they, they pay their bills. They show up for work. They go on vacations. There's no reason that you can't expect that same consideration from a man that you're seeing. And so I hope that this helps you to to plan your dating life effectively and to only spend time with men who are excited about you and prioritizing the creation of a relationship. It's a beautiful thing when a man shows up on a date excited about you and the plans that he's made for the two of you. And I don't want you to miss this experience for some guy rolling up like, what do you want to do? No, don't do that. You it's so much more fun to go on a date that has been planned by somebody who's excited about you and looking forward to meeting you or seeing you again. Don't miss out on the opportunity to have that. It, it is super fun, okay? If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and reach out to me at Renee at reneesuzannecoaching.com and get on my calendar for a chat so that I can help you find the love of your life, which I know you want. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.